Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. All right, so I had a special request from someone to upload and clean up their kids' handwriting, writing out their names. Um, and it's super handy for Father's Day to put on a shirt, canvas, whatever it is. Um, but it could be for anyone. I've seen it, you know, for like your grandmother's recipe and stuff. So um, so let's go to upload. She sent them to me as an as a picture file. So let's go to upload image, browse, and remember where you put it. So mine's in download. So here it is. Here's the first one. It's Michaela. And, um, you know, you definitely want to do the writing. I like using a Sharpie so that each stroke is very clear and obvious. So don't do like a pencil or a thin pen. Um, and also do it on a solid background. Don't do it on lined paper. That's just going to make it more, more difficult. All right. Because it's just the two colors, I'm going to do simple and then go to um, continue once it's ready. In a second. Um, I love doing this. Now, I don't know how old her kids are, but um, I had done this one time and I it, they were preschoolers. So the writing was difficult, but I did have them do a thick marker. So it was easier to do that. All right. So right now <clears throat> I'm clicking on um, this erase button, select and erase. So I pretty much want this brown background to go away. So I'm just going to click in the, in the background. Um, let's zoom in. What is going on? Oh, there it is. So we can see the name. Um, I'm going to click down here to get this brown to get that off. So, you know, inside the letters. And this was pretty clean so far. I mean, there's some this right here, but let's just try to clean up as much as we can. So this, when you're selecting this eraser, select and erase, you're basically erasing colors. So anything of that color is going to be erased. Now we get this little actual eraser looking tool, and this will tell you how big your circle is. So you can kind of see where my circle is. Um, let's make this a little bit bigger, and let's just get this part in. Now, as you can see, I have my, um, my little button pressed down this whole time, and I'm just kind of erasing. You want to let go every once in a while. Because what will happen is if you accidentally click that, for instance, and you go to undo, it will undo everything that was in that continuous stroke. So you want to just let go of your mouse every once in a while so that all of this doesn't get erased, right? Or undone when you accidentally need to undo your thing. So let's go over here. Um, I'm kind of surprised that my little circle is so small. Usually I feel like I get a really big circle right here. But all right, so I'm going to go kind of slow in here. And you want to just clean up as much as you can. Um, and I let go of my mouth. Oopsie. And I know right now design space is kind of slow. So, and you can also do one click at a time as you get closer, like um, ah, geez, my mouse is killing me right now. So undo, let's get over here. And all of this around here, we can easily take in later and slice like a big square or something to slice out all of that. But you kind of, you really do want to clean up around the letters as much as you can. And normally I would just be swiping really quickly, but there's something wrong with design space. It's really slow right now. But you see, like normally I would just do broad strokes like this and it would go faster and my circle would be bigger. So I don't know what's going on right now, but. Um, so, and I also for, I usually do all of my design work on my laptop because I do, um, every other day, prefer to use my mouse. Um, but when I am cleaning up images like this, I really like to use my phone. And let me see right now. I'm actually using my touch screen um, with my fingers right now. Oops, that was not good. 
but I like using my phone to clean up images. For whatever reason, like using my index finger and on my phone, I'm able to like scroll in and it just seems really um, just easier. All right, I'm gonna make my mouse a little, or my circle a little bit smaller so that I can get in between the ridges right here. That's maybe a little bit too small. All right, let's see. Well, wow, it's really, the circles normally, you can see a little bit more of a difference. But all right, that's going to be good for now. Let's click continue. And we don't want save as a print then cut. We want this. So you can see it's still kind of really dirty all around, but that's okay. We'll click on this and save. Oh, I should have changed the name. Um, but also on my on my phone, it gives me the option to make it thicker, but we'll deal with that another day. All right, so here's our image. And let's make this smaller, okay? Let's make this um, just 12 and see if we can see it better. Okay. So you see how all this down here, I wonder if we can contour. I've never contoured before, but let's see if this really works for us. It might be a quick fix. All right, so let's get this to 100. Wow, it's really slow today, so I want to make sure I get this in. It's really not. Okay, so let's hide all and see what that does for us. Okay, so this is good. It kept the, the first part of her name. We also want this. And then we also want the inside. We need to see the name. It might get rid of all the dots for us, so this is good. But I also want to get rid of the inside of the A here and the Y. And we need to click on here because I don't know which one of these actually these look pretty big. I think those are it. And these are all the little dots that we don't want. So let's see if that updated. Oh, there we go. So here's her name. I think this will cut out pretty, pretty nicely. Um, let's do one more because I felt like that was a little crazy. So let's browse, find the other name. All right, let's do simple again and continue once it's ready. I'll just move my face over here a little bit. Okay. I slow. Okay. So let's click on this general select and erase. This is erasing by color. So I want everything that's brown to be removed. And I think, gosh, okay, there we go. I want to, okay, then we want the inside of all the letters. And I'm going to make this a little bit smaller just so that we can see everything. This one, for some reason, was a lot easier, right? Like all the brown on the outside got rid of um, pretty quickly. All right, so we're good here. Let's continue. That was easy. All right, save as a cut image. Addison. So that way, if you want to put this on multiple things, you can go and actually search um, in your images over here. So it's in your now, your um, image um, portfolio, if you want to call it that. All right. Okay, let's go to insert images. So now you have two, whoa, <laughs> let's make this smaller. All right, here we go. And as well as this one, let's go to contour and see what it looks like. It's slow. Okay. Um, okay. So we want all these letters, right? So yes. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Hide all. We want these. And we want the insides of... But you can tell which one's the inside and which one isn't because these little dots are like all the little chicken scratch stuff. <laughs> all right. And then 
we're done, so let's X out of it. And there's her name, like, really cleaned up. I think this will be a really good cut file for um, iron-on vinyl or just regular vinyl. All right. I hope this was helpful. Um, email me, put a comment, and I will help you with your, uh, with your personal project. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.